coming to you live from the It's Funny Studios. I'm Doug. I'm Greg. And this is Mike. And this is the It's Funny That Makes It Okay podcast. Hey, thank you for tuning in. We do appreciate you listening to the show. Welcome back. How is everybody doing? Not too bad. Just got over a little cold, um, but doing pretty well. Um, Yeah, overall. It's the calm before the holiday season. Yep. Yes. <laughs> getting cold, getting very chilly. Yeah. So that's always yeah, we're 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 almost right into the heart of the holiday season actually. If we look at the time that this podcast comes out, it's less than 2 weeks to Thanksgiving. Yeah. We are yeah. full-blown Thanksgiving. And my neighbor the day after Halloween <laughs> Put up her Christmas lights and tree, and they are lit. Yeah. I've seen a couple people they like were that on full as well. Display the tonight, day after Thanksgiving, or yeah. the day after Thanksgiving, day after Halloween, they had the Christmas tree up, lit the windows. I was like, "Why are you go. doing?" Yeah. At earliest, at most, I will give you the week of Thanksgiving. Yes, at most. Yeah. Really, it should be the day after Thanksgiving yeah. or Thanksgiving Day if you want to put it up, so that when you come home, the lights are on or whatever. Okay, I will give you that, but but not not. The day after Halloween. But thankfully, she still has some jack-o'-lanterns on her porch and stuff. (laughs) That's good. I I especially like when the jack-o'-lanterns are decomposing and they're falling in on themselves. It looks really nice. Really classes up the joint. Goes well with the Christmas motif. Oh, it does. It does. (laughs) All right. Well, we'll get started here. I think Greg's got a couple things off the top. And then he's got a game for Mike and I. We have no idea what this is. All right. It's just a little goofy game. Uh, Then we're going to go into the Animal Kingdom. With a few stories I've got. And we're going to finish up with, uh, I got some things about uh, commercial jingles. Best, worst. I heard one that I absolutely cannot stand, and that's what kind of started <laughs> this. And I looked at it, and then I got into a rabbit hole of other jingles. So I thought, oh, we'll talk about some of these from the past and uh, see which is which is good, which is bad. So That's it. All right. All right, Greg, we're going to hand it <clears> off well, to my, you. My first is a... Uh, now you had to you probably had to listen to previous episodes to know kind of why I'm bringing this up but I did a little discovery this week and found that I have DVR. <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> and I have scheduled my baking shows for uh, the holidays appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> now the question is how long have you had DVR and how long have you been paying for it and not, not using it? <laughs> I don't know if I pay any extra but I probably had it now for 2 or 3 you're gonna be, years. You're like my years. parents that leased a phone until <laughs> 2006. Yeah. I had my grandson look it up for me. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I, I, I looked, I found it. I said it for, you know, I'll probably get all the wrong shows though. I'll probably be like, these are not the baking shows I want. Or it'll give me episodes one, five, <laughs> seven, like, three, yeah. two, and nine. Well, then they will be on blast. We found out you do not mess with Greg's baking shows. That's right. That is one thing you do not We're do. into the holiday baking shows now. All right, so there's that. The next thing is I went to the, you know, I said I had a little cold. I went to Kroger, and I bought a few things tonight. And so I thought I needed to get some more Robitussin, and I got the generic Kroger brand Robitussin. <clears throat> went to the self-checkout, scanned it, and it's like the light starts flashing. It comes up on the screen. It says, please wait. Help is on the way. And I'm like, what? What did I do? <laughs> well, you're, like, you're obviously buying ingredients to make meth. Right? I, I guess so. Yeah. But she had to, she came up. I had to give her my driver's license, and she had to scan my driver's license. Well, because you I don't think, need that to vote, but <laughs> scan the scan for cough syrup. You they're going to track how much you buy in a certain amount of time and where you're buying it. Sheesh, yeah. three dollars and forty nine cents. Cop it, sir. Put the Robitussin down. <laughs> step away from the self checkout. Where's your lab? Yeah, come on, <laughs> please step. Do not touch the plastic bag, sir. <laughs> So, so there, that was just, you know, that was a little agitation. You know, it's like, I got to scan. And at the same time, and the gal who was in charge of the self checkout was nowhere to be found. She's oh, gone. Always. Another guy across Naturally. from me, his lights flashing. It's like everybody's standing there just looking at each other. And finally she comes back. Well, I thought I could get some putbacks done, you know? And it's like, <clears throat> you need to, your job is here. Yeah. You're in charge of this area. Be here. Well, there weren't many people. She, <laughs> it's a shopping center. People are going to come and go. Yeah. It's not like they line up in the morning and you have them all day long. Hopefully. 
Well, maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah. If they're well, stuck, maybe. She was gone. And everybody's I've never had that with robots. I, 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 I'm a NyQuil guy. But I, so every time I buy NyQuil, I always wait to laugh. Cause I know as soon as I ring it, same thing. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, here we go. It's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about it. Cause I, I guess I, I don't buy it that often. And it's like, this cough syrup. Well, pretty What's soon, this country come to? Pretty soon they'll have a, a different color light for the people who are trying to buy the, uh, the medicine there. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm going to go up there to buy a Reese's tree and the light will start flashing. It's like, you've had too many. You've exceeded your limit. That would probably be helpful for me, though. <laughs> that would probably be, probably be better off. They scan your license. Yeah, and you get a report you, next you're year. You're at your limit, sir. <laughs> cannot, can I allow you to we buy We noticed it? you had 245 Reese's over the- <laughs> Then I'm outside giving little kids five bucks to buy my candy instead of them giving me money to buy their beer. Come on. I'll give you ten bucks. Just get me a couple Reese's, man. Come on. Get one for yourself. Yeah. Come on. I'm trying to, like, run away get from Get away from me, weirdo. Stranger danger. Mom comes up. Stop. Yeah. Doug gets tased in the parking yeah. lot for Reese's. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Uh, the other, I, I was driving around at lunch the other day, and this is just a weird observation. I was just driving through uh, a local nearby town and on the corner where you turn there's a garage there and the name of it is hank's auto and right below it it says owned by phil consuelos <laughs> <laughs> so where did hank come from I, maybe he bought it out from hank i guess and they but, put his name yeah, underneath yeah, it. i would just leave it to hank's auto then and they can sign the check to phil consuelos yeah I, 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 instead of something well, like yeah. that it was Maybe they don't want to take it to Phil's auto. You know, maybe Hank's auto is just. It does that, sound you know? a little better. Hank's yeah. does than Phil's, I think. Yeah, Hank no. just sounds like a guy who's been a mechanic for it the does. last yeah. like forty years. He must have workshopped that, put it around, put out a pole. <laughs> if I change this to Phil's, would you come? Yes. If I say Hank's auto, would you be more inclined, less inclined, or the same amount of inclined to to come to to it? What about Phil's? Oh, I'm not going to Phil's. Yeah. Now, if it was a gas Phil station. Phil doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> if it was a gas station, it could be Phil's fill-in station. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. No. That's better than Hank's fill-in yeah, station. Yeah, Hank, <laughs> Hank's is not a gas station guy. Yeah, but it's, it's a it's an auto shop, like mechanics and stuff. It's yeah. not a gas station. So, I don't know. Just saw that and thought, that's odd that he left, that they had to put below their own buy. <laughs> and it's, well, why do you have to even broadcast that part? Like, I don't know. That's what, Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teach their own, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So, and last but not least is this this article popped up the other day on MSM, and it caught my eye because <laughs> always great content you can count on for MSN. That's right, MSN. <clears throat> but in yes. the in the headline, it said the word McDonald's, oh. and so I had to. <laughs> I'm further. surprised all of so, the McDonald's stories just show up in your feed automatically, I'm assuming. So Greg is hate clicking on the McDonald's <laughs> ads. Yeah, and it says <clears throat> probably interrupts everything he's doing. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Lights are freaking news. That's breaking. but it says <clears throat> McDonald's fans shocked and livid about new oh. policy. Real end of day stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What is what this is happening is, at McDonald's? This is breaking news. Did they get the bomb? I mean, <laughs> what's going on? They've got the red button now. Oh, we're gonna end it. Well, it says while picking up your favorite foods at your neighbor neighborhood McDonald's, there are certain things that you usually take for granted, such as soda bean. <laughs> these, no, I don't take the positive things for granted. I say, but take, <laughs> how long a, is this list? No, go on. Such as soda being more delicious than at any other fast food restaurant. The drive through working smoothly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Rewind for a second. What did that say? <clears throat> the drive through working smoothly. Oh, you never take that for granted. <laughs> no. Or the fact that you expect to get the dips for your McDonald's nuggets for free. So we're charging for dip now. Yeah. Well, we Th- talked about that. That's the end that. of day's emergency? Yes, we, we did. That's the end of day's emergency. And we talked about that. So that's kind of where my gripe kind of comes in on this because, you know, we suffer for our stories. <laughs> well, this dude, well, well, some of this, most of the suffering, I, I have to say, is mostly self-inflicted. But, but it's still there. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing the suffering occurs. Right. So this dude put a TikTok. Oh, yes. Uh, um, 
about McDonald's charging 10p for their dips, which I don't know what country this is, so I don't know what, 10 pounds? Then Seems 10, like a lot of money for a dip, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, know. A pound is like a, I mean, it's, like what are the, bucks, well, what are the dips here? Like a quarter? Yeah, probably 50 Something cents. like that, yeah. And the video is going viral as fans have reacted pretty strongly to the latest developments. The TikTok has been viewed over 19 million times. Yeah. Do you know how many times we've griped about McDonald's? Probably we're 19 nowhere, million. <laughs> and we're nowhere near no. my 19 million. Uh, I think listen, 30 Junior, or 40. We've been doing this when you were in diapers. We were complaining about McDonald's. So, yeah, I want a cut of this dude's, you know, I think we earn it. Uh, we I deserve so. it. I think so. You know, he's getting 19 million views for putting something simple like they're charging for dip. We're, we've given them, you know, carts in front of drive through lanes. We've given them, I don't know, I can't even, there's, we would have to go through the archives to find all the content we've given for McDonald's. I know, a lot. And we get nothing, <laughs> except more pain. <laughs> <laughs> so so when I saw that story, it kind of irked me. It's like, maybe we should, I guess we should be doing TikToks because, you know. Uh, so <clears throat> gather your children, give them hugs, love on them because the end of days is here. <laughs> yes, because McDonald's, McDonald's is charging. McDonald's is now charging extra for dips for your nuggets. Yes, yeah, as you know, times are truly tough when McDonald's begins charging 0.10p a pop for barbecue dip. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that translation is. We'll say 75 cents. <clears throat> But at least it's worldwide because the next post somebody said they can't even get my order right yet. They have the audacity to try and charge for the dips. So at least it's worldwide. It's not just me, yeah. you know, but dips in the Netherlands are around 60 cents. So it's not, so it doesn't even seem to be consistent. Then it wants to know what the best dip for chicken nuggets is. <laughs> Ketchup, ranch, hot sauce, barbecue, honey mustard, or other, or no opinion. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's my gripe. Griping because somebody's making huge money on um, TikTok, doing what we've been doing for three years now. <laughs> well, they have to make a living wage at the McDonald's. Yes, they do. So yeah. it's a profession. It's the screwing TikTokers, up, though. Screwing up the orders. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if I'm angry at the TikTokers or at McDonald's. I mean, on this both. Partic- on this particular gripe. Well, you're always mad at McDonald's. <laughs> True. Uh, for something. <laughs> And I had no gripe about them this week. Kind of. So, and, But really. now you do. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So that's all the precursory stuff I had. So <clears throat> I came up with just a little, little uh, I don't know, game or, uh, I don't know, just, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read. We're going to be bidding on McDonald's dips. <laughs> 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 no, I don't, I don't even know what triggered me to think about this. I was just reading, I don't know, somewhere. And I decided I'm going to give you guys 10 different, just one at a time, careers. And you have to guess the median average salary oh, for that career. Wow. Man, if only we had the Facebook classifieds to help us out. I know. that The Facebook classifieds wow. would have helped us immensely. But I, know some are, I mean, some of them are just, I guess, pretty normal jobs. And some are a little more extreme. This is in U.S. dollars. In U.S. dollars, yes. Okay, just making sure. Not in peas. Quids or <laughs> peas or... McDonald's dips. Yeah. Nothing like that. <laughs> no, All right. Just, so, <clears throat> just, yeah, just, we're just going to simple. And if there was a range, I just put the median. I just put what right down the middle what the median was okay. for it. Hmm. So the first is for a food stylist. Oh, <laughs> man. The, 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 a food the summer, stylist? Yeah. Ever wonder why that cheeseburger looks so good in the commercial, but is haphazardly constructed in a clear attempt to ruin your day when you pull it out <laughs> of the bag to eat it? <laughs> you can thank a food stylist for that. So it's somebody who, you know, dresses up the food for commercials and things like that. The education you need is to uh, get a working portfolio so I could take my McDonald's burgers and organize them and stuff. And dress become, them up. Yeah. Be, put clothes <laughs> on them. Little dresses. <laughs> Top lipstick. Hat. Yeah, the best way. So experience is the best. Very sexy. Thank you. (laughs) So uh, the best way to land these gigs through some employers may be may want to see a background in design or the completion of a culinary school. You should see what I can do with a hot dog. (laughs) (laughs) You've got the job. (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right. So what do you think the average salary range is? 
for a food stylist. I can't imagine this one being all that much. So I'm going to go the median income, I'll say 35, 35,000 a year. Okay. $61,573. Woo! I have no idea. And the answer is 71000 Woo! Yeah. So Doug gets the first Mike's one. Mike's going to start dressing up as food and taking pictures trying to get a job. <laughs> All right. Number Hold two. on. I'm building oh. my portfolio as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I saw you arranging those candy, those mints Ooh, over yes. there. Um, Your Jolly Ranchers look spectacular. <laughs> It's a nice little pyramid you've got going. It is. <laughs> I like how you polish them so they're all shiny. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very you nice. Yeah, because they're made out of what? Uh, plastic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. Number two, <clears throat> an ice cream taster. I, what? What? Also called a taste master. Sensor, Ooh, see, sensory. Sensory. If yeah. you say ice cream taster, that gives me one thought. But if you're called a taste master. Or a sensory analyst. Oh, man. Well, now if you're, if you're an analyst. Uh, and now we, yeah, we some employers can require an ice cream taster to invent new flavors and products oh. or serve as a marketing representative. Um, so what do you think an ice cream taster would make? They, uh, so yeah, they assess the quality of each flavor based on texture, appearance, color, smell, taste, and other factors like, um, oh yeah, full time tasters are expected to stick aggressively to aggressive daily sampling schedules. I don't know where you do this at. I don't know if you go in the stores and... Man, I'd really have to hit the gym if I had this job. <laughs> you want to go first this time, Doug? $87,137. 87137 137 I was right at 81000 I figured what I was thinking. That'll be $1, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you're going to go 87138 Like, no! <laughs> I always hated that guy on The Price is Right. <laughs> If I was there, I would have punched him. I'd like, you cannot keep going a dollar over my guess. <laughs> yeah. So what's your guess? 81,000. 81K. That's, yeah. All right. Well, this one went a little lower. 56,000. Mike got it. But come on a second. The, the arranger makes. <laughs> the arranger. <laughs> what was it? The, the food, designer? The food stylist. Stylist. That's right. <laughs> The, the taste master on. sounds like they should taste make way more. Yeah. I'm the taste master. A sensory analyst? Sounds like a really <clears throat> bad villain in a <laughs> 80s like barbarian movie. I'm the taste master. Yeah, it says they can go anywhere from 40 to 100, but the mean is 56. Okay. All right. Number three. Well, we got, I got 10 all together, so we can move through them a little quicker. A Lego master builder. Ooh. Who wouldn't want to get paid to play with Legos all day? Master Lego Lego builders create larger than life statues and art installations. They can, they work sometimes at Legoland parks, or they can earn thousands of dollars doing private commission Lego art projects. So, what do you think? Um, annual salary for a Lego master? Back to me this time. I'm going to go sixty five thousand dollars a year. Sixty five. Seventy eight thousand six hundred and thirty. <laughs> 630. You're making me write too much. Oh, this one went lower too. 37.5. To make those. Oh, come on. So Mike, Mike's under on it again. He's That's more closest. effort than either of the first yes. two. Yes. <laughs> Maybe they don't work as often. I don't know. I, I don't know. And I cross reference. Oh, you can a couple gussy up your hamburger however you like, but no, if you build a Lego. <laughs> That's right. Forget it. Yeah. And I kind of cross reference some of these to see if they were. Kind of in the same ballpark on other websites, and they were. I mean, all well, right. That's, that's one I number four, an astronaut. <laughs> See now, this well, is hard be to good. Say, because some astronauts are civilian, some yeah. astronauts are military. So that could. <laughs> yeah, they had a starting pay, or like a starting pay, and then the top pay, and so again, I just split down the middle to make it kind of an average. So probably, an, I would say probably an astronaut who's been there. This I will say it's not top pay. It's one who's been there probably, though. It's not starting pay. So he's been there for a little bit. Maybe done a mission. Maybe. You're not in the Hall of Fame yet. No. He's but not, you might get there. You're not in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. <laughs> but. All right. Well, that's going to change my whole vote or my whole uh, guess then. Um, Median. 
59,700. See, this might buy me, but I'm going to go a little higher on this one. I'm going to go. I'm going to go seventy thousand. Seventy k. They should get more, but now I'm I'm gun shy with everything else. Like I don't know. Seventy eight five. So Mike's Mike's on the streak here. He's got three in a row. Two dogs, lowly one. <laughs> but who's counting? All right, next one. Now, this is very generic. So you just gotta you're gonna worker. Come, no, it's almost <laughs> it's, it's almost that bad. Professional athlete. Oh, well, okay. But median. So we're not talking about like the super. Well, I guess that's probably factored in, right? It's probably yeah. factored yeah. in. Yeah. The median, but there's a lot of guys who are just on the entry level. There are contract stuff. And, yeah, because this could include like I think. Well, it says let's see, professional athletes. So, so yeah, I think, what. Bocce ball. What other what are professions are there that somebody's making darts? <laughs> it says, remember, yeah. that salary figure is only median. Celebrity athletes are among the richest people in the world thanks to multi-million dollar contracts and hefty, hefty endorsement deals with big uh, names like Nike and Adidas. But there's a ton of AAA guys that are making nothing that are going to yeah. drive that price down. Right. <laughs> is it me or is it? Let's see. Who's going first? Doug did the 59.7 for the uh, Lego, okay. or no, the uh, astronaut. astronaut. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go, ah, man, I'm going to go 80K. 80K for Michael. Oh, this is, this could be bad then. This might be, I said 32,500. 32. All right. Um, we're going to figure out who's closer. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Forty-seven seven. Oh, that's Doug. Because he's only what uh, fifteen yep. off. Yep. Yeah, that's Doug, Doug gets 14, that one. Five. Yep. Forty-seven. Forty-seven seven. An ethical computer hacker. <laughs> May I hack your computer? Well, they're not going to make as much as the non-ethical, obviously. <laughs> No, the non-ethical <laughs> guy is going to just hack the crap out of everybody and take what he can. Now, could their hacking be ethical, but they aren't ethical? It, I guess technically. Technically, you know, it could. I don't, I don't know. But uh, hackers have a reputation for being bad guys, but computer programmers can actually use their powers for good as eth- ethical hackers. Companies hire these for security analysts to reveal weak points in website security and to keep other kinds of hackers out. Didn't, uh, what's his name that used to work at the library? Isn't that what yeah, he got into? I've, I've got a friend who I uh, grew up with through junior high and high school, kind of become one of these folks. Yeah. He's, he's in IT security, so he does, you know, the same kind of things, finds the uh, vulnerabilities and kind of from Would that, you like to call him and ask him what he makes? Is he ethical? Well, oh, that, maybe. Yeah, I'm, maybe. Is his hacking <laughs> ethical? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Who's to say? I think it's my turn, right? Yeah. Sixty two thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars. Three seventy three. That's a good range. I'm going to seventy five k on this one because I think with some of this IT stuff, I think you start making some bank here. Yeah, it is more. It's ninety two six. Yeah. Oh wow. All right, that was number six. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Number seven. Oop. A food critic. My friend Dan is kind of becoming one of those on Google. <laughs> He's been rating everything. <laughs> well, say if you count McDonald's, I mean, we're we're paying to have that job. Well, we so so. This this job gets five stars if you love to eat, and who doesn't? Love to write and love to share your opinions. The Economic Research Institute that says while the average salary is around blank, a senior food critic with at least eight years' experience will average about blank, and so. Okay, I'll be go the median. I'll start us off with fifty k. Fifty k for the. <laughs> well, I wrote forty six thousand oh, three fifty. So forty six three fifty. Yep. And it's seventy six oh. six. More. So Mike, Mike, Mike's on a, on a pretty good roll. All these food ones are all over the place. They are. All right. How about this one? This has gotten popular in the last few years. A master marijuana extractor. <laughs> I, I don't even. 
A master marijuana extractor is a position where you process marijuana to produce edibles, oils, concentrates, and other marijuana projects. Products. You do need a degree in a related field. I don't know. Cocaine 101. What? Or, <laughs> what related field? Hempology. To, to, to acquire this job, but once you have one, you can start earning a considerable salary right out of college. Oh, okay, my well, goodness. But Am I first this time? Yeah. Right? The national average salary is what? <sighs> I have a vision for what some of these folks might look like. I know. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> seventy-five thousand eight hundred and thirteen. Eight thirteen. Okay, I'm going sixty-two k. Sixty-two k. This one is forty-nine two. Wow, <laughs> they don't make as much. Yeah. So, but they're in it for the good vibes. They are. They feel good about their jobs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Groovy. Number nine, an online dating ghostwriter. What? Hold on. It's somebody, somebody who writes profiles for people on dating websites. This is a great job if you have the writing skills to create your Hold create on. Witty- there are people that go onto a dating site like, hey, can you ghost write my stuff? And how about I get a stand in for my photo? I'm going to, I'm just get a complete fake person to show up. Yeah. And Boy. then I'll show up. Hi, you don't look anything like, oh, it's the camera. Well, when I was in high school, I had a friend write notes to a girl for me. Um, I, he didn't charge me anything. <laughs> well, he's got. A I would pre- dictate, and he would. He's got an apprentice. You know, he can't. I charge like your you off hair. The bat. You're very pretty. <laughs> Will you go with me? <laughs> so, an online dating ghostwriter. Oh my goodness! Okay, I am. I think this one might be surprising, so I'm going to go. Go 55K. I think this is one that's going to be surprising. I said 42, 450. 42, 450. Does not write on this table. All right. The national average salary is 54, 2. <laughs> Mike almost nailed it he at did. 55. Wow. So that is for a online dating ghostwriter. So I always like the term ghostwriter. Who, who's paying them to do this? <laughs> I don't know. Why Why are you paying to have somebody write stuff about you? Do they interview or do they just make it up out of old cloth? It says, this is question. a great job if you have the skill to write or create any witty dating profiles. You might do this as a freelancer from anywhere in the world by looking for clients <laughs> yourself, or you might work directly with popular dating sites. So can you imagine, like, oh, you know, I'm going to hire this person because, you know, they're probably married. They've been long out of the dating scene. No, I'm single. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm disillusioned, well, yeah. you know, that this isn't real. That they aren't those those aren't real descriptions yeah. that somebody made them up. All right, the last one: a veterinary acupuncturist. <laughs> so you need your dog stuck with a needle. <laughs> I think my dogs need some acupuncture. Uh, uh, Am I first? Uh, yeah. Just as you said, blah blah blah. Let's see if there's anything uh, that would you would use needles, of course. Tools and techniques such as massages, blood moving <laughs> approaches, frequency approaches, and polarity devices. This job requires you to have training and a certification in acupuncture. A love for animals is also important. For su- <laughs> <laughs> It'd be helpful for succeeding in this role. Stabbing them. A veterinary acupuncturist. I'm going fifty thousand and one dollar. <laughs> I'm going uh, sixty-eight thousand dollars. Sixty nine one. Oh. Mike has his pulse who is, on the. Are, who is paying? Who is doing this? What dog needs an acupuncture? How would you even know? How would you like to try to acupuncture a cat? <laughs> <It's> kind of, <laughs> <laughs> the cat's gonna acupuncture you, man. It's got all these neat, It looks like a porcupine when you're done. Yeah. You know, they get those little paws. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Could you do this to a porcupine? I figured the porcupine could do it to other animals. <laughs> Maybe that's the force. <laughs> well, thanks for it. Yeah, I don't feel better. <laughs> so, so Mike wins pretty handily. Seven to three, is that right? Or eight to two? I have no idea. I didn't keep track. Oh, uh, let's see. Number six was, I forgot to put a check mark on that one. That was the ethical computer hack. <laughs> 
And yeah, Mike got that one. So it's eight to two. <laughs> Mike, you are the winner. You are the winner. So you, you get to go. You can pick one of these to go. Hmm. Uh, you know, you can. We'll get you an online dating ghost rider. Or a I get nasty, to job shadow somebody for a day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A food critic. You can go, you know, go to McDonald's. <laughs> if I'm a food critic for a day, I am staying well away from McDonald's. I mean, you've already been working on your food styling, so I don't know if you want to do I that. I think one. McDonald's yeah. needs the food stylist, though. Yeah. Well, they need about everything they can get. <laughs> so, anyways, that's. I wish I had some intro and outro music for it, but. There's not like that. <laughs> oh, I, don't know. I know what that is. All now right. Facebook needs to bring back the classifieds. Yes. Yes, they do. I miss the classifieds. All right, All moving right. on. Yeah, moving on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, we're going to stay with animals. <coughs> animals? Pardon me. <coughs> but not acupuncturists. <laughs> we might need them. These are wild animals for the most part. Uh, first, there is a village over in the UK... That is living in fear. Fear of what? <laughs> living in the fear of menace from a jackdaw terrorizing children on the playground. A jackdaw is a type of black bird. Yeah. So the naughty bird named Derek has divided opinion named in it. the <laughs> South Yorkshire former pit village after targeting children on children on trampolines, leaving them too scared Freaking to play in their own gardens. <laughs> a dastardly jackdaw called oh Derek my gosh. has been branded a menace after terrorizing children by dive bombing them at <coughs> playtime the naughty bird has divided opinion in the ta- town um says here others have set up a facebook page to honor derek insisting that the honor spaghetti derek. hoop which i guess is like uh <laughs> i don't know some kind of spaghetti type thing spaghetti hoops round spaghetti noodles Loving Jack Daw is harmless and just loves sitting on your youngster's shoulder. <laughs> loves it. Hum- the youngsters love it, too. Oh, yeah, look at him. They're screaming. <laughs> he's pecking at them. It's, he's giving them kisses. I think we discovered that birds weren't he's, real. He kisses their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised his name wasn't like Alfred or something. Said One local mom <laughs> said Alfred Derek had attacked her children in Rosington and left her entire family petrified. <laughs> it's terrible. I love this because this made me think of. A great movie. It says, this thing's a menace. <laughs> <laughs> Caddyshack. The man's that, a menace. The man's a menace. Hey, that kangaroo's got my ball. <laughs> but to be honest for you, this sounds like a, a total Derek move, doesn't it? Yeah. If, the, if you got a bird and his name is Derek. Yeah. He sounds just, like a jerk name. You should name. expect this. You really should. And how do they know his name is Derek? Did he have a, he told did he introduce yeah. himself? Is that a name tag? Hello, my name is Derek. Respect the name. <laughs> <laughs> or did somebody give it to him? Maybe that's why he's attacking them. Maybe they call him something else. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought that, yeah, the the bird named Derek. <laughs> hey, Derek. <laughs> yeah. But if you're, yeah, if you're, if you're named Derek, I feel like this is the kind of stuff that you would probably pull. Well, he's probably picked on by other birds when he was little, and so now he's got an attitude. Yeah, there was a couple. Yeah, so that, that's all I had with about Derek. Oh, just, okay. They have it. He's some people like him. They they feed him spaghettios and different things like that. Other people are terrified from him and run in fear. <laughs> I'm in the camp of running in fear. Because yeah, birds, birds are creepy know. when they. You don't know what I mean. It's a wild animal. You don't know what they're thinking. They're just they're very. They're well, whoever it is operating that particular drone really <laughs> hates that village. That's right. <laughs> there's a the there's a couple drawing. other articles at the bottom. I'm not going to read them. They just popped up. It's like, you know, if you like this article, you might be interested in this. But I'm just going to read the headlines. <laughs> I just saw this. Cat travels through 18 countries on bike after being saved from death by adventure. How they t- how that cat know how to ride a bike? And is it a full size bike or is it just a little, little, little mini bike? <laughs> or... Man, no. Acupuncture must work wonders. <laughs> and then one after that said, first wild bison born in Britain for 6,000 years creates history after surprise pregnancy. <laughs> Hold it. First bison born in 6,000 years? First, first wild bison. So there must have been two wild bisons. <laughs> but I'm so, what are they, 6,000 years old? I or what? They're very old. <laughs> 
Hey, it took a baby. lot of Viagra to get that to go through. <laughs> uh. All right. It's crazy bison. I'm going to stay in the bird world for a minute. <laughs> Said a woman in Washington State went out for a walk. Kristen Matheson was walking alone in the woods by her Hansville, Washington home when she was attacked. There was no warning. Her attacker was fast and silent, but left its mark. I felt like getting, I felt like I was getting punched in the back was of the Derek head by around? someone wearing rings. Well, we're going to find out. Luckily, she was able to get a photo and video of her attacker. A white barred owl flew Ooh, down in it. Wow. The picture, I mean, she's tore up. It, yeah. it banged her up. She had to go to the hospital. Said the attack was unprovoked. Which is, you know, okay, at least she didn't go up and, you know, it's teasing or bullying <laughs> yeah. the owl. Trying hey, to get Mr. a selfie owl. with it. Look, I'm behind you. Turn your head this way. <laughs> she was just walking, as she always does. I like that one. Always does. She wasn't doing like a funny walk or anything. <laughs> no. Just their normal walk. A gate. Walking. She was a gate. <laughs> In fact, she'd seen the owl before, and there's never been any problem. When she got home, her boyfriend helped her disinfect their scalp, now bloodied and cut, and she told him, the unbelievable story. Later on, on the urging of her friend, she went to the doctor who recommended she get tetanus shot to avoid further issues from the owl's bacteria carrying claws. By like this, Math- Matheson wasn't going to be kept captive in her house, so she did her best to avoid the owl's territory. I was just like, okay, so I won't walk for a few days, but then exactly a week later, exactly a week <laughs> later, on the next Saturday, I was on my driveway, much closer to the house. And the same thing. The owl oh, swung down. That far yes. down. <laughs> the owl swung down. He stalked her. He's like, yeah, you're not coming to my territory? I will find you, and I will kill you. That's like the elephant that went and didn't tore that. Well, the up. elephant was a little bit worse. Well, yeah. <laughs> killed, the, killed the woman and then desecrated her corpse. Yes, her but, corpse. But, well, the owl would probably do that if he could. If he could. He's if birds were big bigger, enough. they would kill everybody if yes. birds were bigger. <laughs> Yet if the they owl, ever team up with the elephants, ooh. they might give the monkeys a run. That could be a good yeah, war. That could be a good war. Well, then Owls you know, the, and elephants versus monkeys. Yeah, the air and ground division. <laughs> I would give the. I would have to give the uh, go ahead to the uh, the birds and the elephants over the monkeys. Would you let the monkeys have some chickens? So <laughs> no, because we determine how many it took to kill an elephant. You know. No, I think they're they're on their own. Well, the thumbs are the big X factor in that. Yeah. yeah. Says, so, "Yep, the owl struck again. This time, it left behind five or six deep cuts." She returned wow. uh, to Reddit for answers. Yeah, so people oh. people said she's cursed. <laughs> you never go to Reddit. No. You don't go to Reddit for real answers. <laughs> but uh, pretty soon we'll see her on the MIDA the page for for letting. What the did owl I do me. to this owl? <laughs> so yeah, this poor woman has got this aggressive owl that's around there and is apparently stalking her. It doesn't say the name. What do you think the owl's name would be? I got uh, my say. I like. It's got to be like Chad. Something uh, I mean, it's, that's got to be. It's going to be like Bobby. Yeah, or, what's a good or Mike? That's not a. That's not a yeah. name that would do Rocco. That. <laughs> oh, Rocco. He's, he's being a little bit bullyish. Yeah. yeah. She comes out again. I'm taking but, her down. But like I said, the other bird, Derek. That that sounds, yeah, that, 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 that seemed fitting. But I figured like an owl I, named I, I like Chad. A, I, I, Derek. Chad, Chad the owl. <laughs> Chad. Or. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of some of the other jerks in, in movies and stuff. What, what is, what is a good jerk name? Oliver? Oliver the Owl. Oliver? I feel like <laughs> that I could, sounds like a, a fairy tale one. I, think, I feel like I could beat up an Oliver. <laughs> Come on, bring it. <laughs> I'd pick on the Oliver. Maybe he's got a really good name. Oliver. Ah. Uh, yeah. See, that right there would get you attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go outside now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. And you know, funny, on this story, it made me think of my daughter, Megan. I maybe have brought this up before, but that poor girl has been traumatized by birds her entire life. When she was like little, like three or four, we were at the farm park and a duck chased her around and bit her on the bottom. And then we got two bats in our house one night and I was going down the hall and the bat was in front of me going down the hall and Megan's standing in her bedroom door and it's going straight at her. And she's like, Mwah! And she dives over in her bed. The owl goes in her room. We have to drag her out of the room, shut the door. And then, remember at the St. Louis Zoo? Yeah. We're, we're at a show, show for which, birds. But to be honest, 
Mike, if you had a little girl and she's terrified of birds, would you take her to a bird show? <laughs> that seems a little cruel Probably in my you're world. You're trying to break her on oh. it. <laughs> well, I see. I can get that. Exposure you gotta, therapy. You got to get over this fear. Yeah. So remember what happened, though? Yes. The she's, people got right behind where we were, and the owl would flew up right over our head. I mean, you could right, feel its wings Right over Megan. Laughing. She just whoosh. <laughs> Megan, when going to a zoo now, will not go through, what is that, the AP area? Is that what they yeah, call it? Yeah. She will not walk through that section. And then the last thing, just a few years ago, her and her husband were driving out to his mom's house, and uh, they were here between here and Washington, and they're driving along, and this owl rises up out of a field, comes flying straight at their car, and hits her door. I mean, <laughs> so it's like... She may be this girl. That's she may. A, <laughs> yeah. uh, so poor Megan has a, a, a problem with birds. The drones are after her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to crap on your point, but bats technically are mammals. I know. <laughs> okay. I, I okay. know, but <laughs> I will hear about it. Yeah, you guys said bird. No, it's it's not a bird. I know it's a flying object, though. Yeah. <laughs> She's terrified of flying objects. Yes. Really, <clears throat> insects, planes. It's it's and, and it's bird ish. Yeah. I mean, it's bird it is. <laughs> Kites yeah. terrify her. It's it's really bad. We're trying Airplane. to get her some help. airplanes. I mean, we're trying to get her some help. <laughs> Poor Megan. Birdish behavior. <laughs> Did you have more some uh, skydivers? Animal stories, Doug. I have a few more. Okay, I I, I found one earlier <laughs> in the week that reminded me of a, a a topic we had talked about earlier. Okay, on an earlier episode. But I can wait though if you want to. Well, this one, this one is a little bit is of a kind of tie in. Oh, <laughs> so here, and then, and then after this one, uh, <clears throat> I've got one okay. for people that are going out into the national parks. There's some warnings that we may have to talk into. <laughs> a family had a beloved dog. Oh, I didn't read this. I, one. I didn't put it out there because oh. I wanted you guys fresh opinions. Okay. I didn't want you seeing it. <laughs> they had a, a beloved dog, a golden retriever. They loved it, and it passed away, and they were just devastated. But they they wanted to, to memorialize it somehow. They wanted to keep part of the dog around. They wanted something to do to remember the dog. Now, I've heard of people having the dog cremated, and they take the ashes and yeah. have a pendant made out of it or whatever, keep the ashes. These people. Don't tell me. Don't say it. What had their dog the, made no. into an oriental rug oh, from the oh, living room. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, it's made it into a rug. It's a, it's so sad. Like, what is wrong with you? What? Why are you doing this? It looks like one of those bear rugs, bear skin but rugs. It's the dog. It's the dog. Owner Maddie, twenty nine, explained they had to preserve the family's pet as a pelt to create a memorial that will last a lifetime. So she said we had it tanned and turned into leather so the fur wouldn't fall out. Like, the, who does this? Who does this? Not even me. <laughs> and you hate dogs. <laughs> but I'm like, okay. They, they walk in, stay. <laughs> Lay down. Good. Yeah. Good. You want a treat? It's so bad. <laughs> that is bad. Yes, like, what is. do they Do they do this with others? That, like, <laughs> well, we, we had my dad's head mounted on the yeah. wall that, between the deer and the 10-pound bass we caught up in Minnesota. He loved the outdoors. <laughs> this way I can still look at dad and say, Dad, what do you think about this? He loved our dog, so we put the dog rug right <laughs> under dad's head. He could look down <laughs> on him. <laughs> this, is, this, is so, this is just awful, right? I just immediately like, no, there's yeah. something wrong with you. I like to lay, you know, the girl, was it a girl that did this? She's like, I like family. to lay with my boyfriend in front of the fire on the dog. Ow, <laughs> see, I can't. You know what's going to be terrifying, though? If you like, well, surely that's not going to be the one and only dog they ever have. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being the next dog that comes in. What's that? He's going to run away. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> please, what, please don't. The picture you just showed, Doug, that, it, it looks, this horrifying. Is, it does. It, it really looks because its face is there, but their eye, the holes are just. Yeah. There's holes where its eye. It's just. It's, it's very. It's very yeah. disturbing. Yeah. So that that was it. I wanted to get your guys' thoughts oh. on that. I didn't want you to see it. That's wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. They are the a hole. That that was hands <laughs> down. I don't know who does this. I mean, it's one thing you know you get a bearskin rug or whatever, and I don't know whether you know people are for against those whatever, but we don't. This care is about a bears. domesticated. <laughs> this is a domesticated. 
pet. Yeah, I mean, and it's, it's like, hard to let go. I, I understand that, but this is not the way. It's, no, it's, I've, had, it's I've had several dogs, and they die, and it's sad, and it's all oh, they're part of the family. Yeah. But you just, I don't want to turn them. But into, this is this is not it. This is not the right mechanism. I have there. seen where people have had their dogs taxidermy. Yeah, and, and it's like, oh yeah. See, that's where I thought you were going. I, I didn't expect the rug. Seems even more weird to it me. It does that, and that is super weird. The taxidermy dog. I think the rug's weirder. I do. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I mean, at they're least both the weird. taxidermied one maintains its form. Yeah, it I done guess. properly. I yeah, see, yeah. 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 Well, I'd have to walk in you and see your taxidermy dog. Doing I doing would be a little weirded out. Like, yeah, something wrong. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I don't know. I did you want to go? Yeah, or? I can do mine. Yeah. So <laughs> if you guys recall, maybe the audience might recall too. We had a story one time. Uh, that happened over in India. There was a guy who had a little bit too much to drink and got into a fight with a, a snake oh, yeah. over there. Snake bit him, he bit the snake, and they both died. <laughs> I, I so, did. again, I, maybe on the downer note, that's kind of that. Well, I saw something earlier this week. The headline was, Poisonous Cobra Dies After Being Bitten by an Eight-Year-Old. <laughs> so, naturally... What would it die of? A bite from the eight-year-old. Did it happened he again. through it that hard? It happened again. So here's what it said. It said basically, this is India again. Of course. So uh, it, it was an eight-year-old boy who was playing in the backyard, got in what they described as a dry bite. So the snake didn't Did actually venom. Yeah, use any of the venom on the on the kid, which is uh, is that like a warning? What saved bite? his life. <laughs> well. I, I think they 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 can, go all the way. So it was like a full on bite. So the right. kid, you know, still went to the hospital. But he's like, I'm going to bite you, but I'm not going to kill you. So you know, you get the hint here. Well, I don't. I don't know how that the snake determines. <laughs> Is he you know, analyzing I, all that in his head? Well, <laughs> actually, I did hear a thing about that when they were talking. I saw a show about snakes, and they were saying they don't always do venom. And part of the reason is it takes a long time to create venom. So they said if a snake doesn't feel real threatened, a lot of times it won't release the venom because it doesn't, it's like, ah, this isn't, I just want you to leave me alone. So it'll just bite yeah. and won't, if it feels threatened, then it's going to release the venom. If it doesn't, they said, and the reason for that is because it, t- it takes a long time to create that within itself. That's what they, that's weird. That's what the, it's they, like, he's, yeah, I'm saving this venom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had a biologist say that, I mean, those bites are still very painful. There's two, I mean, they're needles, right? Like yeah. right. Going, with force going into you. So the snake bit the kid as he's playing in the yard and then wrapped, kind of wrapped itself around the kid. And, um, uh, it was on the arm. So the kid was, you know, kind of flailing. As an eight year old, you know, you're, you're trying I'd to do everything out. you can. So they came be freaking out now. <laughs> it came down to, uh, you know, instinct and the kid did what he did and just bit the snake. And, uh, I think he bit part of the snake off. Oh, like, oh, he chomped, man. It was just, he said the kid described it as a reactionary move so thankfully he was uh able to survive this one so we have a little bit happier ending for the the human in this case well that's good yeah so it's crazy what do you think the snake's name was that's a jerk move ted (laughs) could be ted i'd go chad more so for the snake on this one. Oh, another chad another chad because you're going to you're going to attack the little kid See, I, th- I thought of Seth. 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 Seems like a punk. Seth. 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 <laughs> Seth. Seems like a punk snake. Yeah. yeah. Looking at punk. So now the score is uh, humans two, snakes one. Yeah. So I just can't. It's a good it. score. It's kind of shocking how often this biting thing <laughs> yeah, I happens. Think, yeah, I wouldn't think it would be that common, but apparently it is. I guess so. if you live in a place where there's a lot of snakes, that's. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the snakes now will have to start to evolve to avoid the human bites after a while. <laughs> Maybe they will. <laughs> Look out, this is the most deadliest human right here. That's the one that killed us. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the other one kid. is just harmless. He runs away. <laughs> that kid is deadly. The drunk ones, they're yeah. easy targets. Yeah, don't wrap yourself around now that Now they kid. could still kill you. <laughs> <laughs> we need a human serum. <laughs> All right. Well. The National Park Service has uh, says they often educate the public through use of social media, and they recently released a warning to people. Warning that said, if you come across toads out in the national parks, do not lick them. Oh my gosh! 
The Post provides riveting uh, late night content about hasn't the toad licking been around now. Sonoran for like- <laughs> Desert Toad, one of the largest toads in North America, also known uh, also known the Colorado River Toad. The amphibian measures almost seven inches across. That's a big toad. That is a big toad. Officials say the huge toad's call sounds like a weak, low pitched toot that lasts less than a <laughs> second. <laughs> toot. <laughs> Furthermore, they have prominent uh, paratoid glands that secrete a potent toxin. Experts say it can make you sick from handling the frog or licking the frog. Reports say the substance on the toad's toxins in the toad's toxins, when crystallized, is a Schedule One drug and can get people high. So who who was the first person out there that grabbed and licked the toad? Yeah, I was like, you know, I think I'm going to lick him. <laughs> yeah. And if you're out in the the park, Dude, or if you're I'm out in the park, him. I would be careful going around going toot toot, or some guy might come up and lick you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And how many other animals did these people lick before they hit on the toad? Like that's the one. That's Try it. the snake first. The bear. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Don't don't lick the don't bear. Don't lick the bear. Uh, lick a rabbit. No. <laughs> Just get fur on your tongue. It's and the toad. We, we know the you toad don't want to do a jackdaw. Oh no, no. You don't want to lick a jackdaw. <laughs> he will there. kick your butt. <laughs> Especially Derek, you'd be licking him. But who grabbed the toad and thought, I'm going to lick this toad? <laughs> and do you think the toad is like the snake? It like holds its uh, liquid in until I don't it's know. somebody that, like the snake, you know, that, you know, I'm not going to dispense any of this right now. Maybe it was kind of like the snake story. Maybe the toad licked him first. He's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to lick you now, toad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's some good toad. That is fantastic. <laughs> Some righteous toad. <laughs> oh my god! Is there a dealer? What do you? What would you like? Hey, I got. I got some toad here. Huh? Is that I Mexican toad? Inch, I got that... five inch up to seven inch toad. You can lick. <laughs> what? You want to lick my seven inch toad? I'm like no, I do not. Is that North American? Yeah. Or... <laughs> You've got a good time. It's secreting right now. I don't. I really don't want to lick it now. That yeah. doesn't make it better. Oh, oh my god! All right, I got nothing else. Unless you guys got something else there. We should have been playing Jeremiah was a bullfrog behind that there song. There you go. Behind that. <laughs> Jeremiah. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to our last segment. We're going to talk about commercial jingles. Commercials. And what brought this on was I heard a commercial. I'm going to wait and play it at the end that I absolutely cannot stand now. It's played all the time. Yep. So I was kind of looking at it, and then I got into a rabbit hole of, you know, they start listing all these other commercials, and then they started playing on YouTube. I'm like, oh, well, let's talk. I did the same thing. Some, <laughs> some of the some of the better ones, some of the uh, worst ones. I, I got, uh, I don't know, five or six ones that I think are pretty good jingles that stick around, and then a couple that are good and bad. They're good in the way because they – you will probably know them once you hear them. You can't get them out of your head, but you hate them. So, uh, right off the bat, of course, I fought the classics. I got, I got my Bologna has a first name. It's O S E A R. My yeah, Bologna yeah. has a second name. It's M A Y E R. I kind of have one oh, from the same era, Oscar Mayer Wiener. Kind yeah. of us. Yeah. Oh, I wish I were. Why do you wish you were an Oscar Mayer Wiener? I don't know. <laughs> The same reason why everybody people, would leave. And why do people like me? Why do people well, why? like toads? Oh, I didn't know where you were going with that, Mike. I'm like, I, <laughs> why do people like toads? Hey, I, don't I don't know. know. Yeah. Well, it's the same era. Yeah. I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. Why do you want to be a pepper? Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't want to be a pepper. I'd rather be a pepper <laughs> than a wiener. True. <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah. Although everybody would be in love with me if I was a wiener, so <laughs> yeah. maybe I should be a wiener. Maybe. Maybe. But then I have a. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. Football. Oh, no. Football yeah. cream. <laughs> yeah. Apple sauce. Kitty litter. The old office. Yeah. 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 office. Yep. Andy. Kit Kat. Yeah. Kit Kat. Yep. How about uh, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief yep. it is. Alka-Seltzer. I didn't know. Yeah. Some of these might be too old for Mike. I don't know if you know I them need, or not. Okay. Uh, yeah. So far, we're batting 100. How about... Meow, 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 meow. I have that one down, but I didn't know if it was good or bad. Bad. Who came up with that? Yeah, it was just the... It was just the cat doing that. Meow, 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 meow. And is that an actual tune or is that made up? 
<laughs> it probably is somewhat. I don't know. The cat might owe somebody money for <laughs> you know pilfering yeah, that might. song. But that's Meow Mix. Yeah. This was another one that I saw a lot, and I think it was in the early 80s, but be all that you can be. Oh, be all. See, I don't, I don't recognize they, this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it a military? One of the military They do branches? more before six Navy in the morning Marines, than Marines? most people do be all day. All that you can be. Yeah, I, can hear, I, I cannot think of the branch. Oh, military or Marines. Oh, man, the Marine people. Navy? If we have anybody listening Navy, that's in the Navy. Marines. I'll go Navy. That's even worse. <laughs> I don't remember. In the army. Uh, it was the army. Is that like the village people? or <laughs> Could be. Maybe. <laughs> How about... Uh... Yep. I need a cup of joe. <laughs> yep. Do, 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 do. Yep. Had the little percolator popping. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Maxwell House yep. coffee. Okay. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Do, do, do. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds, Mounds don't. don't. Yeah. yeah. You don't remember that one? I don't remember. Oh, that, that was big. You know what? Here's the thing. When I was a kid, commercials were huge. They were probably better than the shows a lot of times. You would you would go you would watch the the, the cartoons. Um, or the commercials, rather. I said cartoons. So I, was, I was thinking, if there was an animated commercial, that was, as a kid, you're like, oh, this is like a mini cartoon. I'm going to come in. We're going to watch the animated uh, they had the Tootsie Roll. Yep. Tootsie Roll. Whatever it is, I think I see. Becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. And things are turning into Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the center yes, of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? That's tootsie Pop. I don't know. Why don't you ask Mr. Or ask Mr. Owl? Oh, the owl's back. Oh, the whack, 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 whack. <laughs> Piece of crap. I'll the kid. <laughs> See, that's what she's asking him. How many? She's asking the owl how many licks it takes to get to the center of a tootsie yeah. pop. He's like, you know how many times I've seen yeah. it or heard that? That's not funny. He's a, a one, a two, <laughs> a three, three, <laughs> crunch. Ooh, she's all bloody, running away. How about I am stuck on band aid band-aid brand because band aid stuck, stuck on, on me. me. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, so that's all. I, I had one more from the sixties to the eighties, and it's like I'd like to teach the world to sing. Coke. I never liked that, Coke. Sp- that I like commercial. To teach the world to sing. Perfect <laughs> harmony. Perfect <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Oh, <laughs> That was bad. Oh. All right. Well, I've got. How about newer one? How about we are farmers? See, I had one a little bit. Go oh, ahead. Oh, no, go go right ahead. One that always came to my mind uh, that I would hear throughout the, uh, I don't know, kind of when I was younger. I want my baby back. back. (laughs) Chili, 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 (laughs) baby back ribs. (laughs) Chili's baby back ribs. (laughs) Barbecue sauce. There we go. Yeah, commercials work. They work. Oh, 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 (laughs) O'Reilly's. I know parts. Yeah. How about eight one eight seven seven cars for kids? That is on my list of ones I absolutely can't stand. (laughs) One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Uh, if you if you have a structured settlement but you need no. cash now, <laughs> call G G Whitworth. Eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate those. I hate that commercial. I actually watched that one right before you guys came over. Okay, uh, this was a classic. What is what is on a Big Mac? And if you're at a certain age, you can yes. you know what is on a Big Mac sandwich? Uh, Their commercial would sing it. But kind of say it. You can't say to it. All beef, beef patty, special sauce, sauce lettuce, cheese, cheese pickles, pickles, onions, onions on a sesame seed bun. bun. And Not then bad. back then. <laughs> They would do, you. What was on the McDonald's menu? They had a whole commercial with, where they say oh, the, the whole menu. menu? Yeah, I, I the menu. I mean, I probably do if I heard it, but um, yeah, Big Mac fillet of fish, quarter pounder French fry, oh, icy yeah. coke, thick <sighs> shake, Sunday, and apple pie. And at a time, that was the entire menu. Like, what's on the menu at McDonald's? It's easy, and they would sing the little song. Well, in the earlier Burger King was have it your way. Yeah. Have it your way. <laughs> We're gonna get to Burger King, here and you in just never a get it your way. Here's a here's a commercial that they could never play 
now. I'm going to try to play it here, and we'll, hopefully it'll come across. Hot dogs. <laughs> Armor. What kind of kids eat our hot dogs? Bad kids, skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks. Top kids, sissy kids, even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. I'm hot, hot dogs. The dogs kids love to fight. I hope they're not biting the kid that wanted to be a hot dog. But yeah, it's it's fat kids, <laughs> skinny kids. And they say tough kids, sissy kids. Like you could you could not yeah. do Dude. that commercial today. Let's see if I can get this one to play. Okay. Uh, and then and then I've got one more. Uh, yeah, this to play uh, this was that. one more. This was a little more recent, but Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack Cause now I'm oh. driving off a lot in a used subcompact F-R-E-E, that spells free Creditreport.com, baby, baby. <laughs> Remember how those got like really popular? He did that yeah. guy did like all those different free credit report dot com yeah. commercials. <laughs> all right, and now the final one, the one that started it for me going and looking. I'm gonna try to play this if I can. And it is a Burger King commercial that's out right now. Whopper, 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 Junior, Double, Triple, Whopper, Impossible, or Bacon, Whopper, I do this day, and BK, have it your way. Oh, there's the have it your way part. Whopper, Whopper, Whopper. Yeah, they say it four times. It's like, hey, we need a commercial. What is it? What, what, let's, about, let's do the Whopper. Okay. We'll do it. Whopper, Whopper. Is there anything else? Yeah, we'll just say all the other kind of Whoppers yeah. there are. There's a Junior Whopper, Double Whopper, Triple Whopper, the Impossible Whopper, and the Bacon Whopper. And then they do the Have It Your Way. But then there's something like, you rule. Yeah. <laughs> I picture them pointing at you. Yeah. You rule. I'm going to tell you right. So so, I'm going to tell you something right now. If you find yourself at Burger King, the last thing you think is, I rule. You're going to think, where did my life go I'm wrong? I'm a loser. <laughs> what happened? When did the, when did this train come off the rails? Why am I Burger King? I'm not even at McDonald's. I'm at Burger King. <laughs> I only wish I was at McDonald's. Can I help you? Whopper, 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 <laughs> Whopper. <laughs> Give me Whopper. <laughs> No, so that was it. That just got me. That was it. That was my whole thing. So I was driving me nuts. I couldn't stand it. I don't know. On the opposite end of the Chili's baby back ribs, because I <laughs> love that one. On the opposite spectrum of the food commercials for me, probably the one I hate the most is the five dollar foot long. <laughs> five dollar, five dollar five five foot long. I despise that one. <laughs> We're going to be singing it all night now to you. <laughs> well, it's going to be in my head anyway. <laughs> Mike be laying in bed tonight. Five. <laughs> I've, I've, I have a feeling all these are going to be on shuffle in my head, probably. <laughs> Did you like the, this wasn't a jingle, but the Klondike bar? What would you do for a Klondike, Klondike bar? bar? And then they say, I, I would, you know, they would have one, one thing after our like, yeah. I would climb oh, the yeah. highest mountains and <laughs> brave the snow and freezing, whatever, yeah. temperatures and. That's what I'd do for a Klondike yeah. bar. I did like that one. Uh, chili. Yeah. Baby back rib. That was one of oh, the top classic. ones. Classic. Oh, this one I, we've talked about the Pepto Bismol ones. Yeah. Yeah. Where they're singing and making it dancing and stuff. Oh, yeah. That's uh, bad. You have heartburn. You're all at the copier. Oh, heartburn, yeah. nausea, indigestion, condition. upset yeah. stomach, diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> the guy like does it. <laughs> like turns his head like I'm all sexy. Like, yeah, hey, you got some diarrhea. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. How about a little? To, oh man, we talked about this. Remember the Quiznos subs with the the oh. rat mouse thing? I don't even know what it was. Let me try to play it. I feel like I kind of remember this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the stupid little. <laughs> okay. Okay, enough of the Quiznos. <laughs> but then they had uh, J.G. Wentworth. Yeah. And, of course, Ace is a place for your helpful. The hardware. F- hardware uh, man. Yeah. See, now, it was always man when I was a kid. Okay. See, helpful I, I hardware have it in my head man. as folks. See, I always have it in my uh, head as man, because that was the way I knew it. This is probably tool for you, but you remember the uh, 
sauce that they would get when you're going to make chicken. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. You never heard the chicken tonight? Chicken tonight. What's that from? It's it's called chicken tonight. Right now introduces right chicken here. tonight simmer sauces, and suddenly it's sauce just for saying, chicken. You can't use it on an, anything else. Like chicken tonight, like chicken and they're all doing like chicken wing, like the chicken <laughs> dance. Each one's made with real vegetables and herbs. Only for you chicken. Can make dishes like country French chicken and chicken cacciatore. Just brown the chicken, simmer, and serve. You couldn't use just spaghetti sauce on that chicken cacciatore. No. Yeah. It's got to be the chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. Chicken. Check this one out. This was one of the weirdest it, bro. commercials oh. I've ever seen. It's 14 seconds long. Here we go. Oh, hold on. I got to get the. Volume going here in a second. <laughs> First time what? I saw this, I about died. Here we go. Time for a serious breakfast. It's a, it's a stack of pancakes with a banana stuck on top <laughs> of the it. Denny's Grand Slam. <laughs> Well, that I think is somebody's, very strange. Somebody's been licking too many toads. I think that was a toad licker there. Yeah. <laughs> that or... Oh! <laughs> We're just going to keep going. <laughs> what is happening? Last week, you couldn't run a stopwatch or stop the stopwatch. And now we just got Nanderpuss playing constantly. Thank goodness that the show was over. It was from the Halloween banana costume. That the... <laughs> We've lost it. <laughs> We better sign off before Greg's phone does something else. We don't even know what's happening. <laughs> hey, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the show. We do appreciate everyone out there listening. If you like the show, hit the share button. Give us a five-star rating. Give us a review. Look us up on all the social medias. Drop us a comment. We do read them. We enjoy all the comments we get. We hope you have a great week. Relax. Take a deep breath. Laugh a little bit. Things are going to get better. I don't know how. But at least you're not one of us. So you already got that going for you. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you have a great week and we hope you are tuning in in seven days. Until then, see ya. Later. Peace. Well, that wraps up another episode. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to subscribe and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.